Just a really nice job with this route. Watch, he gets to, turn, to Andrew Booth to turn his hips right there and just spun him all the way around. Stutter and go, and watch where Ahmad Gardner right there just essentially stopped his feet. And once he did that, Diggs... I mean, it's drawn up perfectly for middle field coverage just like that. We continue to see by 14 digs, sells it to the outside, comes back underneath. A lot going on that Patrick Peterson has to worry about here. Watch the top of this route. We're going to go out to the outside. Then I'm going to take you deep. No, I'm going to put my foot in the ground and come back. That's a really... And, uh, Josh Allen said, hey, let's get the ball to our guy. One-on-one -on -one matchup, and he just turns Jonathan Jones around. We really have a good night. You see Caleb Farley just playing off man coverage. Stefan sells the go route, gives Caleb the open side. Watch the little out and up move here by Diggs. Subtle little out. Here we go up the field, muscles his way through it and makes another one on one against your fourth round Williams, who hasn't played nearly as much as the other guys. Fired every ball. Watch his patience, 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 up inside, and then he flattens it. Watch this throw. There is about a two foot window in there. Diggs with a great... You're going to use your quickness, and here I go. Boom, foot in the ground, come back on that hitch, and now he's got Finn Diggs. Would, would they have a safety over top? Would they bracket him? Would they leave Jones one-on-one? -on -one? Remember, Jones was up against Justin Jefferson. He's going to go ahead, and you don't think at any moment right there, Howard, because you have... Their wide receivers think that they have a chance to get deep. They have the option to make a little move like that Turn the safety around. Leap this year, in my opinion. Their ability to move him around and get the matchup problems and create it. The trade with Diggs from Minnesota here, and they asked me about his play style, and I, I said he's a bully. And I said, I mean that in the best way. Three kind of guys deep, but this is a perfectly thrown ball. And this is where Josh Allen has really improved, I feel like. We executed. The reason why this doesn't isn't done more often. And now he gets one-on-one -on, -one on Logan Wilson. Hard to start doubling guys you know, on these early downs like that when you put them inside the formation. Get unbelievable and Diggs to just turn the barn burn the Jets on. And Diggs is going to get inside leverage and continue inside and find that win. For 38 to 48 straight yards. That ball, if it's anybody... This is what we just talked about, right, Lou? Yep. Those safeties having to pay a little. Oh, my gosh, Stephon Diggs, what a great catch. Expecting this is called a quarter's coverage. I think he was going to expect some help by the inside safety and just <laughs> simply let Diggs go right by him. That's good for seven yards. DJ Reed in coverage against Diggs. And you know it's coming, but the way that Stephon Diggs runs routes. What kind of challenge was in front of him? But... Diggs averaging over 100 yards. Well, the Dolphins like to blitz more than any team in the NFL. They blitz on the first play of the game going man to man. You're going to see a deep curl route. You see Cole Beasley coming back. He's going to get a lot of time today. I think they're about to get into a drop back game. Another guy to the party by motioning anybody inside. Josh held him out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That is unbelievable. And what a moment for it. On third and 15, he does this for 25 yards. And what a the right side. You can put him in motion, this time Diggs, to the other. Out to the sidelines. You see him run right behind Diggs and tons of space inside. They got to respect the run. It's not predetermined, but you have to know where to go to get in the sight. Okay, here you go. I found an open spot. Come find me. He Anytime you get near the back end line or near the sideline. And, and they're able to adjust the call. What do you think, Tony? Hey, look at this. Whitehead, you got to guard him. Let's put, you just said it, Jim. He's only got one pass. Well, let's put him inside. And when you put Diggs, 43% of the time. The corner, Duggar, who was holding and freezing with Knox. And there's that opening between the corner and the safe. Right between Justin Reed and Jalen Watson. 30 yards on this one. This is just... A throw that only a few guys can make. Yep. Perfect spot with the ball. You're seeing the competitive nature. The opposing team's quarterback more than 60 times already, and that's a lot through the first five games. And they do that sometimes with the front four, but sometimes they blitz a lot. It's what allows you to get people open like this, and part of it was the communication between Williams. 
Those are like those little nuance things, right, Lou? Great yeah. job by Steph. He is going to work on no seam defense. You're going to see the motion by Diggs come down and pause it right here. You're going to see Diggs go up and break out. And Allen's just going to go ahead and wait for it. And with that kind of time, with a three-man rush. Loosen up his leg, but he went off very gingerly. That was moments ago during that update on the Chiefs and Colts. 25 yards and 10 touchdowns, and it wasn't as good as the year he had before. That's pretty amazing when you think about what he